Hi there everybody, my name is EJ and I am your art appreciation teacher. Now my dear friends, in this video, we will be talking about two of the most famous sculptures in the world. Number one is David by Donatello and number two is David by Michelangelo. And since we will be talking about two Davids, I'll be entitling this lecture as The Battle of the Davids. But before we continue, let me clear things out. We are not trying to decide which sculpture is superior or inferior. Because we all know, my dear friends, that these two art pieces are magnificent in their own rights. So we will just compare and contrast them and maybe know some information about these two sculptures. So if you're ready, let's begin. Now, on this side, we have David by Donatello. And on this side, we have David by Michelangelo. Now, my dear friends, let us begin by examining the materials used by the artists. Donatello's David is made up of bronze. Therefore, the technique that was used by the artist was casting. On the other hand, Michelangelo's David is made up of marble. Therefore, the technique that the artist was able to use was carving. Now, in terms of height, the bronze David is way shorter than the marble David. The bronze David stands a little over 5 feet, while the marble David stands 17 feet. And in tackling this topic in my art appreciation classes, the very first question I always ask my students would have to be this. Which David do you prefer? The bronze David or the marble David? And you know what? Time and time again, it never fails. The majority of my class would choose the marble David over the bronze one. And whenever I would ask them for reasons, most of them would say that the Marble David is more regal looking, it exudes confidence, and it represents the ideal body of men. Well, hmm, yeah. <laughs> and I would have to agree, the Marble David is indeed more regal looking compared to the Bronze David. Yeah. But I guess in terms of being true to the source material, I would have to say that the Bronze David would get the price. The bronze David would get the price? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, my dear friends, we must always keep in mind that both Michelangelo and Donatello were referencing David from the Bible. Particularly, the battle between David and the giant Goliath. So, having said that, let us look at the bronze David. I think the first detail that Donatello was able to reference correctly would have to be the age of David. In the Bible, my dear friends, when God chose David to kill Goliath, David was just a young boy. And in Donatello's David, it reflects a young boy image. On the other hand, the sculpture of Michelangelo is not a young boy. Definitely not a young boy. Michelangelo's David features the body of a full-grown man, a well-developed body of a man. Next, let us focus on the details. If you would look once again at the sculpture by Donatello, you would notice that at the bottom part of it, you would find the head of Goliath. And I think in the biblical story, after killing Goliath using a slingshot, David was able to chop the head of Goliath off. Right? On the other hand, in Michelangelo's David, most experts would say that the sculpture is holding a material that resembles a slingshot. Lastly, but very important to note, would have to be the symbolism. As we all know, my dear friends, God chose David to defeat Goliath because God is teaching us a lesson. And that lesson is about humility. That no matter how strong we are, if God is not on our side, then we will not win our battles. So instead of choosing an experienced soldier, God chose a shepherd who has no experience in battle whatsoever. And that boy is David. And the value of humility is very much evident in Donatello's work. If you would notice, the bronze David is actually looking down. 
contrary to the proud and confident posture of Michelangelo's David. Now, in defense of Michelangelo, some would even say that probably Michelangelo was not anymore referencing the young David, but David when he was already a grown-up man. Well, probably, but this theory was debunked by art experts by quoting what really happened in the Bible and by mentioning the reason why most of the David sculptures are in the nude. Wait, Mr. Padilla, what are you trying to say? And what is the connection between quoting lines from the Bible and the David sculptures being in the nude? Well, let me explain. So the question is, bakit nga ba nakahubad ang mga sculptures ni David? Why are the sculptures of David portrayed in the nude? Well, some experts would say that artists during those times would want to continue and revive the Greek tradition in terms of creating sculptures. On the other hand, some experts would also argue that the nudity of the sculptures of David is actually based on the story David and Goliath found in the Bible. So I guess the question is, in which part of the story was the nudity of David mentioned? So I will try to answer that. Well, my dear friends, before the fight between David and Goliath, King Saul saw David. And King Saul said to David, David, are you sure you're gonna wear that in fighting Goliath? Like you don't want like an armor or something? But David said that, you know, he has no other clothes to wear but his shepherd's clothing. So, my dear friends, King Saul offered David his armor. And uh, I think based on the story, David accepted the offer. So, David took off his shepherd's clothing and he put on the armor from King Saul. But the problem is, the armor is way too loose and way too big for David. Because as we all know, King Saul is a grown-up man and David is a young boy. And since the armor doesn't fit... David decided to take it off. And my dear friends, here is the most important detail. When David took off the armor given by King Saul, it was not mentioned that David was able to put his shepherd's clothes back on. <laughs> Leaving the assumption that during that time, David was not wearing anything at all. He was naked. Logically speaking, if Michelangelo's David is also in the nude, Therefore, we can conclude that Michelangelo was referencing the young David, David, during the fight against Goliath. So, I have a question for my UST students, and I really want to hear your opinions about this matter. Do you think Michelangelo committed a mistake in representing David from the Bible, or was it deliberately done by the artist? If you believe that this is a mistake, do you think it will change your perspective and your opinion about the artwork and the artist behind it? On the other hand, if you think that Michelangelo did this deliberately, what do you think is the reason behind his decision? To my UST students, please post your answers on our discussion board entitled The Battle of the Davids. I am so excited to read your responses. So that's it, my dear friends. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.